Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome to what looks like junk. I know this is crazy. I know. But hear me out here. This is a little tiny, tiny game called I Get This Call Every Day. It's made by a guy, a Canadian actually, who worked for uh, the government. And his job was receiving calls for people inquiring about their taxes. So he kind of made a game about his job. Uh, obviously a call center environment. And if you guys have ever worked in a call center environment, then you know how goofy this is probably going to be. I've not played it. I just, I set it up and this is the best I could do. It's this tiny little window. There's no options. It's a totally tiny, tiny game. Um, he actually ended up getting fired from his job because of this game. So there's a lot of controversy. They're saying, oh, it's not because of the game, blah, blah, blah. But it's because he made this game, I'm sure. Uh, the game is pay what you want, minimum of $2 on his website. I'll put a link in the description, but uh, I don't, <laughs> I think there's like different branching options that happen depending on what you say to your customers and stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get into it. I don't think there's any music. So I'm going to record this like it is, but if it's like really terrible, which it might be, then I might put music in there, but I, I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. First things first, we're going to hit this green button. That means there's a call waiting for anybody wondering. And boom. Oh, okay. So we get uh, we can give a standard greeting or a terse greeting. Uh, let's do standard greeting. Hello, General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. I don't know if that's a woman with a man's voice or what's going on there. But, uh, okay, social insurance number, by the way, if you're not in Canada, that's like your, um, uh, what do you call that in the States? Your social, that's like your social security, I think. Is that what it's called? Anyways, it's like your unique identifier to pay taxes to. So I imagine if you're calling into uh, a tax center, you're going to need the social insurance. So I'm going to ask for that. Can I get your SIN, please? My what? Your social insurance number. That's private. Why should I give that to you? Well, I need it to look up your account. I'm only changing my address. Yes, but in order to do that, I need to pull up your account. <sighs> it's one 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 two 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 one one. Thank you. <laughs> of course, it's wrong. Uh, nope. Nope. What do you mean, nope? I mean, nope, that's not your sin. I'm pretty sure I know my own sin number, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your buddy. I'm not your buddy, sir. Excuse me? Nothing. Listen, <laughs> I pay my taxes, and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. I want to speak to your manager now. Okay, sure. I just need to put you on hold while I see if my supervisor's available. <laughs> and this is, like, this stuff happens exactly like this. You get a you get an irate client calling in, and you have a kind of a prickish <laughs> uh, call center person, and then they just bicker and they battle. And now we've got an email, I guess, so let's see what that says. New message from boss. I'm not. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. David Escalant. That's the guy who made it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play this again, and I'm gonna check uh, a different path. Maybe we'll be nicer this time. But uh, that's pretty awesome. Ah. <laughs> uh. It is inspired by real events. The similarities to real events are intentional. Thank you for playing. Again. Let's do it. Okay, I'm using headphones. <laughs> see, I told you this game was small, but let's see if we can let's see if we can handle this client a little bit differently this time. So let's let's see what the terse greeting is like. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. Okay, we're gonna explain security this time. Sure thing. Now, in order to change your address, I just need to ask some brief security questions. Can I start by getting your social insurance number, please? It's 1112221. Thank you. <laughs> I like how he still takes that deep breath, like, how dare you ask me for my social insurance? Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's one 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 two 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 three three. Thank you. <laughs> it was way off. Uh, <laughs> now, a lot of times, 
I, so I've worked in call center environments for a long time. And I know that getting full name, date of birth, and address used to be like a major, major requirement. Things are changing a bit now, but in a government agency, I can see that still happening. So I'm going to go with the full name. Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry. Is that your <laughs> full name? Yes. <laughs> Could I have your full name? Bill. Terrible. Uh, let's go first and last because obviously it's, you know, Billy and doesn't. Yeah, you know, I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. <laughs> uh, let's do close enough. Thank you. Now your date of birth. Can I have your date of birth, please? November 10th. And what year was that? 1991. Ooh, young. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's actually an option. Wow, you're young. Excuse me? Nothing, sir. <laughs> Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? Oh, for security, we won't be able to tell them because we still haven't fully verified. So I'm going to explain for security reasons. Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine. Try 50 Birch. Okay, let's get the full address, please. I'm going to piss this guy off. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city and province <laughs> is that? B.C. What city in B.C.? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've <laughs> given you my name, my address, my sin. I'm me, buddy. Oh, man. See, I don't think anybody likes being called buddy, you know? Let's just, let's be nice. Let's say it's the law. I understand that, sir, but the law requires that we go through strict security questions to protect your account. Whatever. <laughs> oh, man, this is not going to go well. Uh, two previous addresses. No way. He's not going to know that. Income from his last return. Probably won't know that either. Details of last payment and representatives. I don't even know what representatives is. Let's do details of last payment. Have you made any payments to us recently? I think so. How much did you pay and on what date? Uh, $50. And oh. when did you make the payment? Sometime last month, I think. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, I suppose that's close enough. Usually when you're validating um, payments and stuff, there's a range in which you can accept um, actual numbers being, being off a little bit, so... Uh, let's do representatives. I don't know what that is. Could you tell me the name of any representatives on your oh. phone? What? What do you mean is, have you had anyone do your income taxes for you in the past? No, I do my taxes myself. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> None of these look favorable. Are you sure? Sure as I can remember. Fine, we'll try another security question then. <laughs> this is like, I... Okay, I'm getting a huge kick out of this because... So much of this is just like, <laughs> it's very accurate. Uh, income from last return. Uh, let's you always do a lead in question. Do you have a copy of your recent tax information? You mean like a copy of my taxes? Yeah. No, I threw that out. Oh, that's, that's really smart. You should always throw out your taxes. I, if I say you're supposed to keep that, he's going to be pissed, but I'm going to ask anyways, see if we can get something close. What was your net income last year? My what? Your net income. Is that how much I made? Yes, that is essentially your net income. I don't know. I think I made about 10000 last year. <laughs> what? Keep going. Did you have more than one source of income last year? No, I only worked the one job. And you're sure that you only made 10000 last year? Maybe I made twenty. I'm not sure. Oh, man. No, that's... We can't take that. <laughs> There's no way. Sorry. I'm sorry, but to get through this security question, we need your net income within $2 of the value that you reported on your taxes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so? So, the number you gave me isn't even close. Let's try something else. 
Oh, we have oh, two previous addresses, the one I did not want to go to. Other than the addresses you've already provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 Birch is my prior address. <laughs> right, but we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior addresses. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes, please. Well, I used to live in Saskatoon. Yeah, see, there we go. We're on the right track. I was actually born in Saskatoon. Fun fact. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's just go and... And? And Vancouver. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, full address. I need a full mailing address. Uh, 12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. That doesn't match anything that I have on file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. Oh my god, this is not going well. Any other addresses we would have? Nope. None other? Uh, keep in mind, we'd have every address you've ever given us, like your first address, maybe your parents' address. Oh, well, I grew up in Vancouver. Uh -huh. Would you have filed your first tax return while you were there? Probably. Great. Do you remember the address? 750-something. Oh, I need a full mailing address. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? <laughs> That's the thing, is I am terrible with my memory and I probably would not remember all of this this like it's a little bit aggressive but when you call the Canada Revenue Agency which is where this guy worked and I've done that they ask you all of these exact questions and when you're giving especially your tax information and how much you made in a year they need it to be as specific as possible and it's ridiculous because nobody knows that you have to find all your stuff and it's terrible we obviously don't expect you to remember everything off the top of your head. Uh, we do need to go through strict security questions, though, to allow an address change. Well, I don't remember any of the other addresses. Can you ask me something else? Sure, let's see what else we can go through. Uh, well, we've, we've gone, through, gone everything. through all the security questions we can go through, and you weren't able to provide enough correct answers. What do you mean? I gave you my name, my sin, my address? What more do you want? Uh, okay. Let's go more information. I gotta get this. Sir, we needed more information than that. Think back to all the security questions we just went through. Yeah, well, I told you my net income. You didn't provide enough correct information. Well, what did I get wrong? I can't disclose specifics, sir, but other than the core questions, you haven't answered a single security question correctly. Come on, man. I need to change my address. My benefits come out this week, and it's going to go to my ex-girlfriend's house. <laughs> I don't care. Man, see, a lot of the times when you're validating clients, that's that's the biggest hassle in a call center. And uh, <laughs> it the thing is that you can't be so specific. Like, you can't say, no, I actually have this instead of this, because you that would be disclosing client's information, and that's against a lot of laws, so you got to be careful. Let's do when did you move. Let's try to build some rapport with this guy and see if we can handle it. And how long ago did you move? Sometime last year. And you're only calling now? I've been busy. Oh, you idiot. Let's go only options left. <laughs> You've basically got two options left if you want to change your address. Either call us back when you have some more information or make your request in writing. Okay, fine. Would you like the address to send your written request to? No, whatever. I'll just call back. No problem. Thanks for calling, sir. <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, Fucking asshole. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You're not getting off like that. Fuck you. Listen, <laughs> I pay my taxes and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. I want to speak to your manager now. Okay, sure. I just need to put you on hold while I see if my supervisor's available. This is so awesome. Look at we're going to get that email again. <sighs> shit. <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. That is awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know if this is winnable. I don't know if we can help this guy or not, but it probably is. Let me know if you guys would like to see me try to figure out the actual way to do it, and I'll do it. But I just wanted to show you guys this goofy little game, because I think a lot of people uh, that have worked in call center environments, which is a lot of people by nature, uh, can probably relate to this and... Uh, it's frustrating. Ness, 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 ness. Thanks for watching, guys. This was I Get This Call Every Day, 
and I'll put the link to the uh, p to the website down below. Thanks again. Bye.